Hey guys, Nikki Novak here for Young Hollywood. I am behind the scenes. I am at the rehearsal space for Dancing with the Stars. I'm about to get a dance lesson. Apparently I really need it, because watch, wait for it. Here's my best move. Oh yeah. I'm here with Brant Daugherty and Peter Murgatroyd. I'm so happy to talk to you two because not that I'm playing favorites, but you guys bring the most energy to the show. Thank you're, you. You're really, really fun to watch. And congratulations on your big week. Yes. Applaud for yourself, too. <laughs> you made that happen. But yes, to him, mostly, because oh. he did such a good job with an injury. I mean, we got the highest score of the night. Highest score with an injury. What is with you? Uh, apparently, I need pressure. <laughs> so what I loved is in the opening package when they first showed you guys, your first line was, are you single? That was a good one, by the way. <laughs> are you single? I mean, she, you just cut right to I the mean, chase. I mean, honestly, do you really think I would say that <laughs> to somebody like this? Them. <laughs> I'm I don't like know. the shyest person. Are you? It's the magic Around. of editing right there. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah, what is your what is your what is yours? What's your approach? I, I, I mean you get I have, on a no, soap, I have, don't you? You've got to learn these things no, have, on a soap. I have no lines. You have no I have skills. No pick up lines or anything that's like that. That's so much I'm, better I'm, though. No, I walk up, I look you in the eyes, like hi, I'm Brand. See that's don't you think? And then yeah. you hope that they melt and just like oh. What do you mean hope? Well, uh, that's true. I guess every girl would kind of fall over. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I love like a guy to make me laugh. So if you can make me laugh in the first five seconds, then you've kind of got me. <laughs> right, right. Um, you get a lot of pickup lines. <laughs> kind of sometimes. <laughs> I feel like I'm interviewing you now. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I love it. Just go ahead. Just go have, have, have a So what does he bring to the table, like in terms of dancing? Or what, sort, what do you think his biggest sort of asset is, aside from his strapping good looks. And great question. Great pickup line. <laughs> um, I would definitely say the drama and the, the theatre aspect of the show. He can kind of play any character that I give him. It's just nice to have that on board of, with um, you know him having great technique and stuff like quick that. Quick feet. It's, that quick step to Beyonce was serious. <laughs> yeah, we were pretty nervous about having a hurt foot and doing the quick step in the same week. It right. was pretty intense. Great answer, by the way. Well, going, going further on that, I mean, you've played, obviously, <laughs> Pretty Little Liars, you know, you know, Days of Our Lives, different films. You've played good guy, you've played bad. Is it easier for you to tap in the romantic side of the dance or the sort of like, mm, like that sort of aggressor? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm really not that aggressive in real life, so it's not it's necessarily not easier, but it's, it's <laughs> way more fun. Right. Like playing Noel in Pretty Little Liars, like I would never say the things that he says to people. So it's so liberating, they get to say it. You walk up and you just tell people exactly what you think of them. It's pretty great. Right. Now what's the grumpy cat thing I saw on somebody's Instagram or somebody's Twitter? Is this tapping into the acting side? <laughs> no, we, <laughs> we were trying a lift yesterday and she had to tuck her shirt in while we were doing it. High pants, like I had to have like carry high pants for a little bit. Which is so sexy, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, but they wanted to take a picture of her like that, so I tucked my shirt in, you know, to show support like I do. Um, <laughs> and it just so See, happened, well, the face that we were making looked like the grumpy cat. The, the oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> you look like it's, a Simpsons It's character. literally like a line, like you've penciled it in. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> A little handsy with the microphone. <laughs> is, is, that, is that what goes on? Is that what goes on behind the scenes? And if you could have anybody, anybody sort of watch the show, dream person to watch the show and say, you are awesome, who would it be? I know your mom's super proud. Yeah, I would I, I made made a big deal about making my mom come out to see the first show. She was the person that I was really excited to, to you know, she supported me for a really long time when I moved to Hollywood and I couldn't pay my rent some months. She never told me that she wouldn't help me. She never told me I shouldn't go for it. So she's been very supportive. Are you gonna, do you feel like you're, I feel like I'm gonna cry now. That's so sweet. I thought you were gonna say Natalie Portman. I don't know why. <laughs> when I asked if you could have anybody watch, I thought you were gonna say Natalie. Oh, I went for the diplomatic answer. Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah, Natalie Portman would be great. <laughs> she'd be the second, she'd be sitting next <laughs> to your mom, right? I think my head would explode. So last but not least, I know like when I watch the show, and I'm such a huge fan of the show, when I watch the show, this space, this rehearsal space, is when I think women look the sexiest. I mean, they look incredible on the show when you guys are all done, but like gorgeous, like now. How do you, what do you think is the sexiest thing about a woman? Is it the jeans and t-shirt, no makeup, or is it the sort of the dressed up, the I love a girl when she's comfortable. <laughs> and That's a diplomatic herself. answer too. <laughs> and no, it's really not, it's really not. I, like, we've shown up very early in the morning and 
she's not all glamorized and all that stuff, and she's gorgeous all the time. I think, I think women are the most beautiful when they're in their comfort zone, and not necessarily when they got the high heels and all the makeup on. Right. Now, what's the real answer? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what are we gonna learn? We're gonna learn first the the first move when someone walks in. Now, do you do a little, right. a little sort of thing to establish if they got the moves or? Yeah, yeah I just. You're single. Are you single? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't take me long, man, for putting it out there. <laughs> hey. Yeah, totally alone. <laughs> totally okay. Yeah. Now we're going to be right. <laughs> All right. We first learn how to run the walk. Okay. Okay. So, you've got to think of two train tracks going down this way. Yeah. Okay. So, when you walk, you're going to be walking like this, not completely crossing over like a model walk. Oh, All I can right? do that. Oh, I know you'd be able to do that. You'd be amazing at that. <laughs> I feel like I already know how I would do on Dancing with the Stars. Week one, out. Good. It's <laughs> great. I can do the hip it's thing. Really good for a minute. Yeah. It took me three days. Really? Let's see yours. Come on. Oh. oh. Or show us something. Show us something that you said, okay, like before the show, I could never dream of doing. Show off. Show off your mad skills. Your little figure eight. I'm figure, moving the hips. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't do this too, actually. The ladies yeah, love. Good. The ladies love that. So feet are apart. Good. Oh, you're you've got that Stay down. Nice. It's a lot of abs. Not a cord. Is that why you have the? <laughs> take take us out with something that you guys have done on, on the show. Okay. I'm go for it. I'll take this and I'll leave you to the floor. Get the get the amateur out of here. Thank you guys so much for chatting with us. I don't know which one of you turns me on more. Maybe it's her. It's her. No offense.